Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Blood Level 4, New Game Plus 6, All Bosses, and this is Orphan of Cause. So I think Orphan's probably the hardest boss in the game, especially so if you don't interrupt him or use backstabs, because he has a bunch of wonderful properties that enable him to cancel from damage into almost any of his attacks, and a lot of them are incredibly wide-reaching, a lot of them are incredibly damaging, and just a whole host of trouble that you don't have many tools against, especially when you are not rolling. That's what makes the, the real decider here. Does that mean that this boss can't be bested and he can't be done so in a very demanding manner? Not at all, of course. At the beginning of this video here, as I talk about him before we go into the fight, you're going to be seeing footage of a whole host of punishes that you can do against Orphan, but because of the uh, temperamental nature of landing backstabs on his back, and just how easy it is to mess it up and essentially have to start again from the beginning, there are a whole host of punishes that you will witness now that you might not see in the video. And the reason for that is confidence. When you're fighting this guy and you've had to, you've got clipped a million times and you have to come back and do it again and you're worried about missing the backstab or misangling something or having the wrong timing or the wrong spacing, it makes you play a lot more timid than you normally would. So there's a couple of punishments, especially in the final phase, where I just don't go for them because I was punishing them consistently and then he clipped me and it kind of put me off doing it. So what you're about to witness is a slightly safer orphan of course fight, but at the same time uh, it should pretty much isolate just how well designed this boss is in the grand scheme of things and also show you how to get around some of his more tricky manoeuvres. Additionally, in the final phase, you can actually backstab him twice when you stun him from a backstab. So you can punish with a charged R2, punish with a second charged R2, and then immediately charge a third R2, get a backstab stun, wait for the regeneration of your stamina, and then backstab him, and then recover and continue, which is pretty much max damage against the final phase. But I didn't know you could do that at the time of recording, and if I did know, I forgot, because it's been a long time since I've really played against Orphan and I've really studied him, so it was lost in translation, so you won't see me do that. But what you will see is the absolute destruction of a very difficult boss. So at the very beginning, Orphan will do one of two things. He will either jump over your head, or he will dash at you doing the prawn drag, which has a very deceptive hitbox behind it. Depending on whatever he does, punish accordingly with a stun from a charged R2, and then immediately charge a second R2. That move just then can be backstabbed if you're confident enough, but I wasn't. So I move away, and he does another jump. Something worth knowing about Orphan when you play against him is he has some interesting input reads where if you try to heal, he will oftentimes close distance in the best way he can, which mostly involves jumping. So if you don't have any healing vials or you're at max health and you press an input to heal or you do something that involves making your character do an animation to say you can't do that action, you can provoke his AI into attacking you and you can get a lot of moves that you want. But I've moved out into the scene now, just because it's much easier when it comes to detection of things. When you attack Orphan on the beach, a lot of the differing geometry heights can mean goofy things happen. Here is his 3 hit combo with the 4th hit, here's the punish on the 4th hit, backstab, charge R2, and then move away from him, see what he does. If Orphan moves to the right, he will do this move here. So if you ever see him jump to the right when he recovers after a backstab, chase him down and do the exploit I did just then. Any other direction, left or backwards, you'll have to punish it differently, but if he jumps to the right, you can bait the second hit and then backstab the third hit, and it is guaranteed easy damage, so please do it, it will save your life. Now his HP is getting kinda low, depending on your AI right now will depend on whether or not he transforms or if he keeps attacking. If you wait for him to stop and then charge your R2, you can almost always backstab him here. And here's where I can do more backstabs if I'd have known about it, but I didn't. He then begins the path of rolling dices to see exactly what this guy's gonna do, and he's just doing standard jump, so I'm gonna keep as much distance as I can. You can punish that move, you can also punish that dive bomb, but both of them are quite particular, and you have to have complete control over the situation. All I'm waiting for, you can punish this as well, this is another big punish, but it has a hitbox behind it, so be very careful. I'm waiting for him to do the sequence of slams, because after the third slam, you can walk under it and then backstab the fourth slam. But there's no way, really, to provoke this attack. It's entirely up to Orphan, so we're at the mercy of him at this point. And if you try to backstab some of these drops that he's doing right now, he recovers so quickly, 
you don't stand much of a chance, but here it is, guys. He doesn't do the final hit, so if you strike him once, sometimes he'll jump up and complete the combo, other times he won't. When he screams, he's going to summon the electric waves. If you're in the sea, they'll come from the beach. If you're on the beach, they'll come from the sea. Make sure you've got distance, and then Dan Maku your way through that shit. So, he's doing nothing that I can really punish comfortably, confidently at the moment. I'm just hoping for the move I'm familiar with. And this move is the scariest move he has just then. The double dashing pound move is a move that sometimes it hits you, sometimes it doesn't. And I've got a couple of good dodges, but for the most, without rolling, it's just, are you in a bad spot? And did you just reset? Because you probably did. But here we go. This is what you want. This slam right now is the easiest punish on Orphan. And once again, you can do an extra backstab there if you know what you're doing. Uh, I just didn't remember. So we're getting a really good pattern. He's being a bit of a dick. He's not giving me what I want. All of this right now is pretty much untouchable regions. Uh, this stuff can be punished, but it's difficult to punish. He's coming close. What's he doing? Doing the big dive. Can't really do much to the big dive unless you're a master spacer of it, because it's so dynamic. Here come the, uh, the grapefruit garbage. He's coming close. He's doing more jumps. I like to keep him at mid-range, because if he starts doing the crazy double slam attack, you can shoot it with your gun, but I made a vow to not use my gun against Orphan, because normally I parry the tits off of this dude, and I have no difficulty with this fight. So take the gun away, and I had to rethink my strategy, and that's what we want. Keep doing that move, Orphan. Hit him in the bum hole. Hit him again. You should be backstabbing, and that was the end of the fight, but I just wanted to play safe. You know, I was ignorant of... You can also backstab that. There's a really nice sweet spot on the movement that you can backstab that with, and I... Uh, I got hit two or three times and I said, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to play safe, I'm going to go for the moves I know I can punish, and I'm going to do this boss. And he didn't take too long, believe it or not. Often is insane. The only people who say that Often isn't a tough boss are the people who are playing on characters where they don't have to ever learn the boss and how to fight it. Uh, much like our buddy Ray Dimitri, who on one of his boss countdowns kills Orphan in four hits on New Game Plus 7, and then goes on to say, I've never understand, I've never understood why anybody has problems with Orphan. Do you know why, Ray? Because you've never fought the fucking thing. You've melted it every time, and any scrub can melt. Use my build, and beat Orphan, and post that fucking video, because I bet you can't. But there's all the levels, and the Mensa's cages, and everything. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It is a very cathartic battle, and it is not easy to do. You take care now.